So with that, uh, Ben Sowers from Home Intel got his uh, started his company while he was still in the graduate program, uh, graduate school of business at Stanford, and he has partnered with. Am I going to say it right? Home. Thank you. Home Energy Analytics. His uh, his business partners, and they actually met through Gil Masters. How many of you in this room? took a class from Gil Masters while you were at Stanford. I bet it's a good percentage. He is an energy efficiency guru. Even back when I was at Stanford, he was packing auditoriums at 8 a.m., which is an ungodly hour for Stanford undergraduates to show up for anything. And he would pack his class because he was that dynamic of a speaker. And he's inspired a whole generation of change agents in his field. And so Ben then went to Sunrun, or before grad school was at Sunrun for a while, and uh, now he is here to talk about using all this plethora of data from PG&E smart meters to drive changes in how we reduce our energy usage. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. I wish I had one clap. <laughs> so cold. <laughs> one clap. Um, I should have channeled my inner Gill and worn some uh, some hiking boots and uh, some hiking gear. But uh, thanks for having me tonight. Uh, a couple of disclaimers. When I mention Home Intel, I'm actually talking about a partnership between Home Energy Analytics and Home Intel. And the other disclaimer is that James is working with us in the front row, so I've paid him to laugh at energy efficiency <laughs> jokes, which are few and far between. Um, but we'll get going. So when I talk, if I do say P for P, I mean pay for performance. And if I say EE, I'm talking about energy efficiency. So I'm going to try to jam um, two topics into one five-minute presentation, give you a cra crash course on the new residential pay for performance program, and then also talk about the related untapped plug load that our business, Home Intel, our program is going after. So when I first joined Sunrun, I worked with Sydney, and I really love this cartoon. The sun's beating down on our back. It's so obvious we should use it. I feel the same way about energy efficiency. It's right under our noses. But as Gil has said, it's like trying to get people to pick up 10,000 pennies to save 100 bucks. Um, so here's a graph of how we're going to hit emissions reductions targets by 2015. The top category is energy efficiency. Several have referenced it as being the most cost effective. I'm glad I don't have to get in the ring with the other renewable sources to battle that out. Um, and how are we going to get there? We're going to spend a lot of money. We spend about a billion dollars a year in California on energy efficiency programs, and about a third of that is residential, and a infinitesimal percentage of that um, might be coming to our program, Home Intel, but we hope for that to grow. Um, so how do they pay out for these uh, energy efficiency incentives? The old way is based on rebates. Expected savings, you get the money up front, and then you're um, using it to pay for your next vacation. Here are some examples. The new way, which we're talking about tonight, is performance-based. So you don't get paid as an ener energy efficiency business unless you're delivering measurable savings at the smart meter. So no more upfront rebates. It's only performance payments. And here's a quick example of how this works from a structural perspective. It's a lot like a residential solar PPA, where you have thousands of homes and you take the net performance of them, and a contractor like Home Intel or HEA gets paid for performance across their portfolio. And so PG&E just started this at the residential level. These are the two companies that won it this summer. Build It Green is a more traditional contractor. Home Intel, which I'll start transitioning to the second part of the presentation, is more of a plug load based uh, online smart audit service. So what do we do at Home Intel? Uh, HEA has been working on this business for eight years, and now we finally have a business model to make money off of free online audits and custom recommendations. So we dig into your smart meter data and provide energy coaching to make to find really low cost, low hanging fruit energy efficiency in your home. The problem we face when we start talking with homeowners is when they think about the efficiency, they think about Energy Star appliances, LED light bulbs, and heating and cooling. And I don't blame them. This is good stuff, but it's pretty costly and it's not for everyone. Um, and But that's where the budget is going. So you see about 45% of that billion dollars is going to heating and cooling and retrofits. Another 45% is going to lighting and, lighting and appliances. Um, but the big question is, where is the actual energy being used in the home? 
And that's what we're focused on. We're focused on plug load, which is everything else in your home that's, that's plugged in. And plug load today in Northern California accounts for over 50% of your bill. This is your refrigeration, your TV, your entertainment. This is a really fancy chart to say that bigger homes have bigger plug load problems. And that's where we're gonna, where we're gonna start focusing. Um, and that's our target customer initially. I'm glad I didn't try to explain. Uh, so you're still trying to picture plug load. And I think there are a lot more sexy presentations than this one, but operational efficiency isn't sexy, but it starts adding up. So we look for baseboard heaters, resurf pumps, pool pumps, the 20 year old refrigerator in the garage. And um, we walk the customer through a journey. So it takes a little bit of hand holding. So at first they really need to understand what's going on in their home. Second, once they know, they can start investigating the problem areas. And at the end of the day, they have to take action. So how do we help them understand? We break their usage down into categories. And we don't try to go down to your toaster. We try to go down to actionable and accurate categories that we can track from your smart meter. So the bottom category is always on. It's running in the middle of the night. And we have other categories all the way up to heating and cooling. And we use the pie chart. You'd be amazed at how every pie chart for every home is completely different. And we use it as a priority list. So if your big, big usage is heating and cooling, go to an HVAC contractor. But for most of, most of us, it's in the other category. Um, and we talked about uh, making lives better. Uh, we like to think of ourselves as an energy doctor and it's a process when we work with customers. So we we look at the data, we, we make a recommendation, we monitor it with smart meter data, and then we adapt as we need to. Uh, and since we're just getting started with this program, this is a plug. Um, if, if you're interested to see where your energy hogs and your home are, you can sign up tonight and, uh, and get an answer. So thank you.